Street said it can make a world of difference when editing a video. It can save you a lot of time. And Motion VFX have now stepped into the ring when it comes to presets with DaVinci Resolve. Motion VFX are mostly just known for their Final Cut Pro products, but they're also known for exceptionally high quality products. When it comes to DaVinci Resolve, there is no difference. Today I'm going to be going over two presets they released for free about a month ago from what I can tell. They're high quality, easy to install, and easy to use. For transparency sake, this video was not sponsored by them in any way, but I do have an affiliate link in the description for you down below. If you click the link and decide to purchase one of the other pro uh, products or presets, I do get a little bit of a kickback. The digital assets I'm going to be going over today are strictly 100% free and everyone loves free. Link in the description down below, you will be brought to Motion VFX's website where you can create a free account where you can log in for future use. And of course, we're here for DaVinci Resolve. You click DaVinci. The presets that we're going over today are labeled. They actually just released this new zoom transition effect. In case you didn't notice the transition effects with the word spelled out that you saw earlier in the video came from the free preset pack. It actually came from I think it, this one. I can't remember which one it came from, but it came from one of these two packs. Now you will have to download and install the M installer, either for Mac or Windows. Completely harmless, installs really quick. And this actually will be used to install the preset packs to DaVinci Resolve. It literally does everything for you. This here is the installer. You just double click. It'll check for any updates for licensing or anything like that. And see, look, a new plugin. That's the Zoom plugin they just released today, which is actually up here in this little advertising. But you'll see everything you purchase from them or download uh, for free from their website here. You basically, click install, and it will literally does everything for you. Now, quick tip: uh, if you don't like you know programs popping up when as soon as you cut your computer on, this here uh, run on startup is automatically checked when you install it. Just go into the settings uncheck it and then you want to worry about it popping up as soon as you get your computer on just a little quick tip i don't really like when pop programs keep popping up to slow down and getting boot up time so now we got some random clips of me playing apex nothing too fancy i'm gonna mute the sound so you won't be hearing a bunch of gunshots and the first transition i'm gonna show you this comes from the math path challenge the math path challenge is actually some kind of contest they got going they're giving away a bunch of apple products and computers and stuff you can check that on their website but click this here this is the, actually the transition i used earlier you click the transition go in here and you just type in whatever i think i'm gonna type in actually something and it automatically uh generates the transition for you it comes preset in this particular font but you can of course you can change it pretty much any font that you have on your computer uh, i usually use impact but you can change it to pretty much anything else Let's try, let's try that one. And it works exceptionally smooth, especially in 24 frames. I know it's kind of like kind of glitchy and kind of hiccup on 60 frames a second, which is actually what the gameplay footage native frame rate is. We can go here, you can actually change the color. And it's a cool little transition. I never actually seen a transition with words like that before. If you're enjoying today's video, my cat says like and subscribe. Do it. This is a little zoom and rotate. Pretty simple, but it's exceptionally smooth. These are in Fusion too. You can go here. It'll open the effect up in Fusion. Now these presets are not like uh, previous presets I showed in my Neon Text video, where it was kind of like basically the node tree put together. This here is actually just a flat foot preset. Like you can't edit it or change it you can change the settings to your liking but you can't actually take the node tree up you know take it apart and actually see the node tree and this is a nice little zoom transition and so you can actually change like you can lower the frame rate change the 
the duration of it. And because it is a fusion effect, you have to give it a little second to render. But once it does, it renders smoothly. And then that's another thing I noticed too with a lot of these effects. It doesn't take a lot of time for them to render when you, you know, place them on your timeline. Now those are video transition from the My Path Challenge. We're gonna go into the effects now. And you go into the effects, you know, again, they give you the different thumbnails and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, this is here, I'm gonna be using a lot more. We're just doing the little tutorials. Oh, wait a minute. Cool thing with these two, with them being effects, you can take an adjustment clip, drop it in between the two. Well, there's not a transition, so we're just gonna put it over this one clip, go to the magnifying glass, drop it in there. And then you go to the thumb, the drop down here and go into the fusion overlay. It will give you the little crosshairs. Let's just zoom in a little bit. You see the crosshairs and it's like a little magnifying glass. So this, this is something great for like tutorials. Like in my future tutorials, you most likely will see this being used and how it zooms in on the effect. You can go over here to the effect. You can edit it, zoom control. You can change the mounted zooms, the shape, the scale of it. You can make it bigger, smaller. So this is something you want to pinpoint and highlight. Let's see, frame color. Frame color doesn't actually change, so it just stays the same unless you change. Yeah, all this stuff stays the same, but you can change this. It don't really actually do anything as far as the values, though. You can actually change what happens to the background. So you see here, it's kind of slightly blurred. You can make it more blurry to make that particular item stand out. You can change the gamma, make it brighter, contrast, and all that stuff. This is a really cool effect, and I love this one. So again, cool thing is with an adjustment clip. Hit that, cut it. So say for instance, you want to highlight, go down here and just want to highlight like Bangalore's kills, 50 kills, and then go back to normal. Now each one of these effects you can actually use in the adjustment clip. So we'll take this one here, it's like a little highlight box. You can move it around. Go into the effect settings, change the width and height. Let's make a little highlight box. And go into color settings, change it from white to yellow. Hit OK. And this is basically a little box you can use to highlight something. This is a cool little uh, transition, kind of like a little film reel. How it wheels your footage in, wheel it out. You can put it in a adjustment clip as well. Say for instance, you Place the adjustment clip. Actually, we're gonna trim this. Oop. Delete that. Put it right there. Up. Oh. Make it a little shorter. And because we, because the trans, well, the effect was put on the adjustment clip, and I cut it down. It uh makes the effect actually render, kind of run really quick. So that's why you kind of get that little skip. Cause it's actually affecting this and that at the same time. So depending on how you place your adjustment clip and how you use the the uh, the size of the adjustment clip, you can actually render it out better than that. Now this effect here, this effect here gives you kind of like a little prism-like effect. Pretty cool. Something you can probably see in like a couple of like trippy like music videos or something like that. You can move the effect around too with the mask overlay. As long as you hit the drop down and fusion and hit the fusion overlay, you can then move it around. So you can use this to make you a thermal effect. It's actually like I think three or four different masks look like it's layered on top of each other. Yeah, they're all layered. So yeah, that is that is unusable footage, unusable footage, but yeah, you can make a nice kind of like a thermal effect with that. And again, you go into effects change the footage cloning, the, the prism control, the light leak, change everything to your liking and how you want to see fit. Something I can see can be used in a lot of, a lot of music videos.
Now they go in depth covering everything in the preset packs because they're free. Like I said, you can download them in the link in the description down below. But that's been today's video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for future content. And I'll see you next time.